Zelda Breath of the Wild VR shows so much potential. It could be so great, but that potential is not being realized because of this here, the Nintendo Labo VR headset, which is not comfortable and because the screen of the Switch is not good enough, this potential is not realized at all. It would be so amazing if we could play Zelda Breath of the Wild, the VR version, in our comfortable Oculus Go or in our Samsung Odyssey Pluses or Rifts, Vives or even the Pimax. Good news, actually you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. And this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ahn. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. As you know, I just made a video where I showed off how The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild looks in the Nintendo Labo in VR, and I can tell you, it doesn't look good. If you want to watch it again, you can do so here. So I told you in that video, that actually there's so much potential, but it's not realized because, well, this is not comfortable. You have to hold it to your face like this, or even if you lie down and put it on your head, it's not good enough, not comfortable enough. Also, the screen is simply not good enough. The resolution is low and everything looks very pixelated and not nice. So in that video, I said like, oh, I hoped I could play that on any of the other headsets. And you know what? I got a great command by a subscriber called Vulcanized. Thank you so much for this command. And Vulcanized told me, hey, actually you can play that in the Oculus Go, for example, or in any of the other headsets. And then I tried it and yes, it works like a charm. So let me tell you how it works. So what do you do? You stream your Zelda game, your Switch game to your computer using a capture card or capture device. Now I tried it with this here, the Elgato HD 60S and it works like a charm. So you do that, you, you simply stream that picture to your computer and then you use a software to stream whatever your desktop is showing to your headset. And the one software which works perfectly to do that is called Virtual Desktop and it's available on Steam, on Rift and also on the Oculus Go. And if you have a fast 5 GHz network, it works like a charm. I've tried it and I'm now exactly going to show you how it works. So first of all, it's very important that this capture card or the capture device that you're going to uh, buy for this, it has to have very little lag. So I had the Elgato that came before this device here, before the HD 60S and that did not work. But starting from the HD 60S and you can get this for like around $200, I suppose. I bought it for 180 euros here in Germany. Starting with this card, you have this um, feature called InstaPlay. So there's nearly no lag. And even though the signal is routed through this device to your computer, you won't see any lag and you can simply play it on your PC desktop as if you would be playing it directly from the Switch. So this part is very important. And if you want to get this device, you can get it um, from the link down in the description. So you can get it from Amazon if you don't have one yet. So once you connect your switch to your Elgato or to your capture card, you have to start the software that comes with your capture card. And let me show you how that looks for the Elgato HD 60S. So you see your switch picture. And if you want, you can show it on the full screen by simply clicking the right mouse button and then choosing that you want to see it on the full screen. And then, well, it will show the Switch game on the full screen. Of course, now you have to go into the VR mode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And well, it is already here in VR mode, but if you have not switched to VR mode, simply go to the settings and turn the VR goggles on so that you have this picture with those 
two circles and then you're good to go. The next thing that you gotta do is you gotta stream your desktop video to your VR glasses. So it depends on what kind of VR glasses you have. If you have like a Steam VR headset, like the Samsung Odyssey Plus, or if you have a Rift headset, or if you have the Oculus Go. The one thing that is common here that on all these devices, you can play the software called Virtual Desktop. It should cost you around $13, but I can tell you it is so worth it. It's an amazing piece of software and you can not only play um, Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR, you can play all your, your um, 2D desktop games on a huge screen in virtual reality or you can even work in virtual reality using more than one screen. It is really worth the money and yeah, it totally is worth it even just for playing Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR. If you would like to to try it for free first, you can also try Big Screen Beta. So Big Screen Beta is even free on, on uh, Steam and actually on, on all the headsets also available for the Oculus Go. But in the direct comparison, I had way better results with virtual desktop. Once you start virtual desktop, the menu will pop open on your actual desktop and you only have to change one setting and you're good to go. And here is the pop-up. Now the only thing that you have to change is 3D options. And in the 3D options, click on full SPS, full side by side. And that is everything that you gotta do. If you want, you can also activate headlock and in that case, the picture will move with you. So wherever you look, that Zelda picture will always follow you. But this is really your own taste. And that's everything that you got to do. Once you have set everything up like this, you can play Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR, on your Oculus Go, on your Rift, on your Vive, Vive Pro and even on the Pimax with a wide field of view if you want to do so. And it looks stunning. It looks so much better than in the Labo VR kit. It is no comparison at all. I was completely fascinated by this. It's the way that you want to play Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR and it's just so easy. Now to show you just how good it looks as compared to the Labo VR version, I have made some through the lens shots in my Samsung Odyssey Plus, and this is how it looks like. As you can tell, it looks really, really good. And of course, now it's much more comfortable since we can use any of our beloved VR headset to play the game and the lag is completely acceptable. Actually, when I play this game in VR now on the other headsets, it's perfect. I love it. And I can imagine to play the whole game in VR like that. Yeah, and that's it already for this video. I really hope that you found it helpful. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And I want to hear from you now. Does that make you want to play Zelda in VR? Please do leave your comments in the comment section below. And that's everything that I got for this video. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.